Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to add a light, an extra LED light strip to your Omtech laser engraver, okay? I'm just doing some upgrade. I already did all the wiring, all the everything, but I'm just going to, I have a couple more wires just to put together. I said, let me make a video for you guys and show you what I did so it can help you, okay? The machine comes in with an LED strip in here, underneath this, okay? It lights up very good. Okay, very good. But the problem I was having was I hooked up my light burn camera. Okay, I have a video uh, on my basically YouTube channel how to do that too. When I hooked that light burn camera, because of the light strip is over here, it was kind of leaving reflection on my camera. So what I ended up doing, I put a tape. I put a tape over here. Now the light just hit this direction. Okay, so the bed is a little bit dark going in. If this all the way home, my bed is dark. So I said, let me add a light, another LED strip lights. Okay, you can get them from Amazon. If you have some, you can use. But uh, I end up purchasing mine from Amazon because I did not have 24 volt. I only have 12 volts. And fortunately, this light here that they're using it is 24 volts. Okay, so I end up just purchasing. I will leave a link below. I'm not advertising for the guy or anything that whoever company is selling this or anything. I'm just trying to help you guys if you guys need to put more lighting on your bed. Okay, remember if you could have a camera, you don't need that much lighting because it might interfere. So, mine, what I did, I hooked up the light from here all the way to here, just glue it, and I basically ran. I'm gonna open this guy here. I'm gonna leave this guy on the side. I ran the wire. I'm gonna run the wire actually through here. Okay. What basically I did, I just drill a hole in here. Okay. This is a very heavy steel. It's a nice, not very heavy, but it's a heavy steel. So I use I use a step drill. It does the job very good. You don't need a bigger hole. You're just gonna throw it put it through here. I just went one, uh, what size is this? A quarter of an inch. That's all I did. I just quarter an inch and made a hole. Let me pause it and show you what I'm talking about. I, can, I hope you can see better angle. Basically, trail a hole here. We put the tape in the back at this side, and I will show you in a minute. So, here it is. I just glue it from here. All the way down to here and the wire is gonna run through this hole here Basically, it's gonna come up from this Hole over here. So just gonna run the wire through right now Can't do this with one hand I guess Maybe now better, okay? We'll run the wire through. Pull from this side, both of them, okay? And then I will actually attach everything over here so it will not be in the way, okay? Or I'm gonna try to use, I'm gonna try to use a minute. I'm going to try to use these guys here. They're basically a shrink tube, but inside of them, there's this uh, sound basically that glues, let's say, or weld the wires together. I love using them. They have different sizes. You can get those from Amazon too. I got like a pack of them a long time ago. Okay, they have different old sizes. And then I will actually wrap the cord. Now I'm going to show you, okay, where where did I get this cord from? Okay, to get the power to the LED lights. Okay, so the cord I ran it through underneath this guy here. Okay, between the the gap between this guy and the, and the actual bed. Okay, or the cover. And I went there, put a strip light, and then there's a hole in here. I went through here. Okay, then we're gonna go to the controller and find what's inside the controller. Okay, so basically. Into the controller over here, turn my light on. So the wire came, you can see it from there. I just went to this cord here, 
and I came back to down here all the way down to this guy here so how do I find out where was the wires I went to this actual cord and I follow the wire all the way under the machine came this way okay and the wire came in from somewhere in here okay and it seems like it came down and it went down here okay uh, so basically what I did I opened this guy I opened this guy and followed the wire these were the wires the brown one and then you have the blue one okay the brown one was the neg the positive the blue one was the negative I just hooked up those two wires black and red ran them through here when this one I did the test this output here was doing 24 volt that's how I determined actually what my machine what kind of light that I needed if it was doing 12 then you will need a 12 volt light if it's 24 you do 24 okay and then I will just hook these guys up right now and show you what I'm talking about I could have used shrink tape like this guy here but because I was doing a video and I was trying to explain to you I forgot to put the shrink tape so I just used electrical tape it's fine it's long yeah I need I don't even need to actually put electrical tape but I'm gonna do just for the hell of it and then we're gonna put the case back in okay and I'm gonna show you guys how the light works okay so here there's no light actually coming from my flashlight or my backup light this is how the bed looks like okay I'm gonna turn the machine on right now and you can see there's lights all over there's a light coming in actually from underneath the bed which as I told you is underneath the tape I just put a tape but this light basically right now is hitting so if I can plug out this light it's hitting somewhere over here but of course this LED lights lights up the whole bed Okay, and it's located behind this, nowhere near the gears or anything, okay? It's just a strip of LED light over here, okay? And this will light up your beds. If I have a, something in the camera, basically in my camera trying to read, I'll, I'll have light from this end and from that angle. And of course, every time this guy moves, you'll see it better. I hope you like this video, thank you very much.